So December is right around the corner and that means that it is time for the most sacred of bookish events. The end of the year scramble as we all try to meet our reading goals. Hello my lovely friends, it's Margaret. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a couple of things. I'm going to give you all of the stuff for the Avengers reading challenge that we are doing and then I'm going to go ahead and talk to y'all about the 2021 reading wrap challenge. So we are quickly approaching the kind of piece de resistance that we have been working towards with the Avengers Initiative reading at challenge. We're giving y'all a little bit of a break as far as characters go, but we are still watching movies. We're still reading books. We still have some plans. You'll see more about those later, but not in this video, because I'm gonna keep those a secret. The movies that we will be watching on December are going to be Endgame, which should be around the weekend of December 11th, and then Spider-Man Homecoming, which will be happening around Christmas weekend. As far as the group book goes, we will be reading Ace of Shades by Farida Ibike Iemide. This is about two kids at a boarding school. From what I understand, I believe they are like the a couple of the only black kids at their particular school. There are also these, these like, students called the aces, as in, like, aces in a deck of cards, not like aces as in asexuals, just in case anyone is confused on that. I think they have to infiltrate the group or they're having to, to do something with the group. I'm not entirely sure. I've heard nothing, nothing but good things about this book from reasonable people. I am really excited to be reading this book. A couple of people that I know that have read it, they just have been raving about it and so I'm just ready to experience the hype. Now as far as characters that we are releasing go, we are releasing the iconic the person that is kind of responsible for most of the characters that we all know and love. We are releasing Stan Lee as a mission log. The prompts for Stan Lee are read a book about heroes, read a book with found family, read a book with a Jewish main character, Tony Stank, read a book that has a character name you've probably been saying wrong, read a book written between 1922 and 2018, so when Stan was alive, read a book set in New York City, read a book with a comic book character in it, read a book about fighting an oppressive system, and then Deadpool, read a character that has a job you would not expect. Ace of Shades does fit the prompt for read a book about fighting an oppressive system. The Avengers stuff out of the way, I am going to be working on completing some boards, um, but if you watched the boss battle wrap up, you would know that there are there are some pauses that have been put on certain characters that I cannot fulfill their prompts at the moment. I can't add any new books that I have completed to their prompts as of that date. What we are going to be focusing on the most this month is going to be the 2021 reading wrap challenge. I do this every year to kind of motivate me to get to the that that hundred books or whatever my goal is. I think I'm at 70 or 80. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't updated my Goodreads and I'm scared to do it because I am concerned about how many books I have left to finish. It's a pretty simple challenge. If you are joining me for the first year, it is just try and fill out the bingo board. You can either get a bingo, you can black out the bingo board, you can book use books that you are currently reading on this board, you can use books that you were reading earlier and forgot to finish. You do not have to start fresh. Like it, it, it yeah, use this board however you need to, to motivate you to read. Read a book with a holiday reference in the title. Read a book with a winter cover. Read the Lotus rated book on your TBR. Read a book that is not a book. So anything that is not your like, this. If it is not a novel with words on a page in, in giant blocks of text just like this, it counts. Whatever format you do, you want to do a graphic novel, do you want to do an audiobook, it counts. If you really want to get like creative with the rules, you could even watch the movie version of a book if you've been meaning to do that. I don't know why I've never thought of that before. Read a book that fulfills a prompt for another readathon. Moving on to the second row, we have read a book you got for free, read a book with fire on the cover, Read a book from your mid-year TBR, if you did the mid-year freak out, or you just had a TBR around June, July-ish, go ahead and, if you didn't read it, check that, you know, grab that book. After that, we have continue a series, and then we have read a book that is not set in winter, because December is not winter everywhere in the world. There are some places where it is summer. Row three includes read a book that has pictures, read the highest rated book on your TBR, read a book published in 2021, read a comfort book, and read a blue book. Row four has read a book set in a country that is not your own, so it has to be another country that is on this earth. 
but it's not not where you live. For a lot of people that don't live in the U.S., it's going to be really easy because so many of the books that are published and talked about on BookTube are set in the United States. So you're welcome. Read a shiny book. Read a book that you picked randomly. That can be random number generator. That can be asking a friend to pick from a certain number of like pick from your TBR, anything like that. You know, giving your dog the choice to pick a book. However you want to do that, you can. Read a book that you bought at a indie or used bookstore and read a book that is 400 plus pages. The fifth and final row has read a book from your 2020 TBR since you know 2020 happened and some of us did not read as much as we would like. Read a book that was published before 2020. Read a book that will light up your mind. This can either be fiction or nonfiction, but just read a book that kind of makes you learn something. And then read a red book and read a book by a debut author. So we're gonna go from like the books that are hitting the hardest, like doing the most work on this, because I am going to try and black out this bingo board with the least amount of books that I possibly can. And then if I, I can read more and I finish these books, then I won't add other books. Or maybe I'll just read a whole bunch of manga and graphic novels. The first book that obviously I do need to read in the month of December is Ace of Shades. This is going to count for 2021 book, a red book, book that is also part of another readathon because I'm counting the Avengers Reading Challenge as that, a book by a debut author, and then a book that is 400 plus pages. The next one that I went to, because some of these were kind of specific, so I tried to, to find the specific ones and then see what else they would match. So the next one that I'm going to be doing is The Feminist Agenda of Gemma Kincaid by Kate Hatterman. I went and I went to look up the lowest rated book on my TBR. This was it. This is an arc that I received last year, I think, and it is about a girl that is dealing with, like, prom somehow she's been roped into doing prom but she doesn't like prom she doesn't believe in prom something like that you can't really see that very well can you hold on so this is going to fit uh read a t book from your 2020 tbr because i think i was planning on reading this sometime in february ish and then read a blue book and a book that is set not in winter prom is usually in the springtime so there we go next i went to look up the highest rated book on my tbr and that actually ended up being dear ally how do you write a book by ally carter so this is going to count for highest rated book and then also the book that will light up your mind because it is nonfiction. this is a like books she wrote using some other you can't really see it because they're very tiny but she she like has little snippets in here from other authors but it's a book for teens about writing and i love ali carter and i want to have read everything that she ever writes so i'm i'm going for, with this this is going to be one of my choices i have truly been trying to read that book for forever but it's nonfiction, so i keep forgetting that i'm reading it the next one is doing a whole bunch of work on here but i am also going to be reading the roses of may this is going to count for winter cover continuing a series comfort book i know this is an odd thing to have as a comfort book but i love these so much book written before 2020 and then a book from my mid-year tbr because this was in my mid-year freak out video i want to finish the series which means i needed to reread the first three books this is a series that is it follows an fbi team that ends up getting involved in investigations that involve serial killers and children it follows a couple different like different investigations and the team throughout and then you also get to kind of see the people who are at the center of these investigations that are the victims these are dark these are twisted they're make you angry but i love them so so much and the characters just pop off the page they are done so well next i did my random pick and for all of the random stuff and all of that i was specifically choosing from my physical tbr which needs to be updated but these books have been there for so so long and i got a curse so Doc dark and lonely by bridget kimmer this is a beauty and the beast retelling and it's partly in modern day new york and partly in a fairy tale land i know very little about it except that there is a curse and so he goes he has someone go into new york and find teenage girls girls the same age as the prince that are willing to come back with him to try and break this curse um i also know the main character whose name is harper um harper does have cere cerebral palsy and i know that there are a lot of people that really like it's not it's not own voices representation the main the author did not but there are a lot of people that feel that um, felt very represented by this book. After that, we went for The Darkest Legacy by, who wrote this? Alexander Bracken. Um, this is going to be bought at an indie bookstore and it's going to fill a shiny book because it is shiny. This is the fourth book in the Darkest Minds series. It follows Zoo and Zoo is like 
she's a main character from the original series, but like or major character, but she's not the main character. And so this is following her a few years after everything has happened. And I'm assuming we're going to see some of the fallout from the events of The Darkest Minds. I'm excited. I really enjoyed that series. So I'm glad to be back in the world and kind of following other characters and seeing how things turned out. And then I had to find a book that had fire on the cover in some way. I don't think I have a lot of those that I haven't read. And I'm I mean, I could probably go for some rereads, but I went with Flesh and a Fire by Laura Ann Gilman. Um, I think that technically is a little bit of fire, but really, I'm just going for this. It looks like there are dragons involved. It was an advanced copy that I got from a friend. Um, I have no idea what's going on in this book. I just picked it to fill up the prompt. I just realized I've been calling that Ace of Shades the entire time, and it's actually Ace of Spades. I knew that, I just lost my mind. For an illustrated book or a book with pictures, I'm going to read a volume of Full Metal Alchemist. I'm holding up volume 9 because I am assuming I will have finished, I'm in the middle of volume 8 right now, so I'm assuming I will have finished volume 8 and I will be on volume 9. I may be on volume 10. Who the frack knows? I might just decide that I'm going to read all of the volumes that I have. I don't know. I have a review in one of these corners. Go watch it if you're interested in this series. I love it. It I ha it makes me happy. All right, for Not In Your Country, I am going to be attempting to finish Emma by Jane Austen. This is a Regency novel set in Regency England. It was contemporary when it was written, but now it is historical fiction. And it's about Emma, who's a very rich young lady who likes to meddle in other people's business. She fancies herself a matchmaker. And a lot of the time that just ends up like causing trouble for people who are close to her. Final book for this is going to be for the not a book. I'm going to listen to an audiobook. It could be, it may change. I may decide to use a different audiobook depending on what I'm able to get. But right now I'm planning on reading Persepolis Rising by James S.A. Corey. This is the seventh book in the Expanse series, which I'm absolutely adoring and enjoying. And I'm making my way slowly to the end. Um, and I am concerned and nervous and concerned because the last book just came out and Again, I'm just concerned. That is it. I am concerned. There is so much going on in this series. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Just know that it's like space western detective noir type thing. All right, my friends. Those are the books that I will be reading in the month or I will be attempting to read in the month of December. We all know how my TBRs go. Um, I might be adding some extra motivation to finish specific TBRs come the month of January, February, some somewhere in the beginning of the year just depends on things. There are certain life events that probably need to happen so I can get all of the stuff together for it. So I just, just know there's something coming next year that I am currently completely obsessed with and will not tell you anything about because I want it to be a freaking surprise. Oh, let's not forget, there is one book that I, I have not filled in the space or one space I have not filled in and that is to read a book with a holiday reference. I have asked Twitter for some recommendations when it comes to book with a holiday in its title and then I'm going to the bookstore later today and when I go the book that has the most likes and suggestions which I mean let's be honest it will probably be one that has that uh I'm going to go buy that book and that will be the book that fulfills that prompt if you are feeling chatty let me know in the comments recommend a book to fulfill one of the prompts on this bingo board, go ahead and do that. If you are not feeling chatty, but you still want to let me know that you watched to the end of the video, go ahead and leave the little check emoji just so I know that you were there since we're doing checklists and stuff and it's the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to watch more, I have a few over here that you may be interested in. If you want to watch those, it really helps support my channel. And then if you like these and you liked this video, think about hitting that subscribe button if you're new here or hitting the little notification bell if you've been here for a while. There are some people that have hit that little bell and I appreciate all like 70 of you. Thank you so much. That is it for now, my friends. Happy reading and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!